Hey guys, Fetz here from 11 Bravo Gaming, back with some more Rainbow Six Siege gameplay. I'm actually going to show you my first ace. I take out all five defenders. I do it playing solo, or playing with four people I'm not talking to and I don't know. Um, that's kind of the topic of this video, playing solo with four people that you don't know, you're not talking to, maybe one person or two have mics. I tend to find that the mics are inconsistent, so... Um, there's five tips I have that I've kind of developed this far into the game I want to talk about. The first tip and one of the most important when you're playing with people, even with people you know, but more so with randoms, friendly fire is just as dangerous as, dangerous as enemy fire. Uh, there's several things you can do to help with this, but getting killed by your teammates is just as likely as getting killed by the enemy when you're playing with people of various skill levels that you don't know and trust. One thing you can do is not strafe in front of your teammates. Even if you're playing with your buddies, don't strafe in front of them. This is a common thing in this game. People like to get focused and they get tunnel vision and all they care about is killing the guy in front of them. And they don't realize there's someone shooting right next to them and they step in front of those bullets and either get killed or take a lot of damage. Uh, give up your kill to avoid shooting your teammates in the back goes along with this. There's going to be times where you're shooting, uh, you're shooting around someone on your team and he strafes in front of you. There's nothing you could do to stop it, especially with randoms. Just don't shoot him. Give up the kill. Let him get the kill. It's not a big deal. This will help your team. Numerical advantage is everything in this game. Um, and one of the other things that go with friendly fire is to just hide when your team is shooting at the drones. I can't tell you how many times someone is just focused on the drone and they shoot me and do a lot of damage to me. So that's tip number one, avoid friendly fire. The second thing is a big focus on defense. It also happens on attack. Be selfless. Identify vulnerabilities and cover them. So on defense, this is easy to recognize. There may be windows or a hallway near the objective that no one's watching. You don't want to watch it. It's not, it's not an area you would normally cover, but you realize that no one on your team is watching it and no one's going to if you don't do it. On attack, this can mean recognizing your team's split. If you see all four of your friendlies go in one direction, it may benefit them for you to float around to the other side and be a decoy or distraction. If you see your team evenly split, don't go a third direction and split the team three ways. Stick with one of those groups, follow them, let them take the lead. Tip number three is be flexible. Be flexible in everything that you do with randoms because you can't count on your normal assignments. If you're playing with teammates that you talk to, you may call out, you know, I'm going to watch this way, I'm going to go this way, I'm taking frag grenades, I'm taking breaching rounds. I tend to always take breaching rounds over grenades when I'm playing with randoms because I just can't count on them to be there to breach for me. Um, but being flexible in your loadout and, and what equipment you're taking uh, can go a long ways. Tip number four, be conservative on defense. Be aggressive on attack. Uh, so when you're defending, there's no backup. There's no one that's going to come revive you if you take a death, pushing out, being aggressive. You may be the designated roamer for your team, when you're playing with randoms, there may be three other guys on the team that also think they're the roamer, and you need to be the one that's conservative, that stays tight to the objective and locks it down, because they're going to go out and die, and if you all go out and die, what's going to happen is, like I've done a bunch of times, is someone's going to come in the back door, grab the hostage, and be outside before you even know what happened. Um, so someone has to be conservative and watch the objective, and that a lot of times is going to be you... Uh, when you're playing with randoms, you may realize that no one's roaming, and in that case, then you need to get out of there and, and go watch some of those other lanes. On attack, I find being aggressive to be a better strategy. If, you be, if you're too conservative, uh, your teammates end up dying, and then the other team gets a numerical advantage, and they can you know use that force multiplier and just build on it. So I find that um, it still you know goes back to being flexible, but being aggressive on attack seems to be better. Uh, the fifth strategy, and I think this is huge, wait to pick your operator until the, the rest of your team has picked, or be flexible in changing once they've picked. There, you know, there's a few operators that I think everyone agrees just you have to have. So on attack, that's Thermite. That's actually why I'm playing Thermite in this gameplay. I don't tend to play Thermite, but you, you can't go into a round without Thermite. You can, you shouldn't. Um, he is the only player that can breach certain 
um, routes in a game. So certain walls, reinforced walls. He is crucial to success in so many instances. And if you see that your team hasn't picked him, you need to play him. Likewise, on defense, I think uh, probably Castle or Jaeger fall into this category. Castle's a really strong defensive class. He's not always as flashy and fun, but he can funnel the enemy and set up those early warnings better than anyone. Uh, so, you know, whatever those players that you think are required, there may be a time where you need to play them. So um, I, I think that's it for this video. I want to keep it kind of short. Uh, there's still a lot to learn about this game, but at the same time, everyone's developing their own strategies. I thought these tips would help. There's a lot of people just getting the game for Christmas. And if you're on here playing solo during break, uh, you're going to run into this stuff. So I hope that helped, guys. Um, leave me a comment. Let me know what videos, what operators you'd like to see next. I'm starting in on my operator series, and uh, I think uh, there's so many to choose from. And I'm probably going to start with uh, a defender and then do an attacker and alternate. So if you have a preference, uh, leave that in the comments. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Be sure to share it. For 11 Bravo Gaming, this is Fetz, and I'm out.